yes for you today i have a couple of really interesting updates but the main thing it will be the hysterocrates gigas egg sec pooling heck yeah And the reason why I'm super happy, I'm almost 100% certain that the exec will be good because I noticed that it all got like puffed up. That usually happens when eggs open up and become eggs with legs. So I'm pretty sure that's what we will witness today. But before that, updates. I haven't really shown how Pizzateria Metallica Communal is holding on and you see, as you know, we had five inside and now there is one, two, three, four, Five. So that of course means that all five are alive, which is really really nice. But I noticed that some are a bit smaller, like this, this one, it is it is significantly... Oh, Despacito found out my new leaf litter stash. Oh no, I should put him inside because he will be making a lot of noise now, Despacito. I'm recording a video and you are making a lot of noise with that leaves. Stop with that cheeky look, please, you are not fooling anyone. <laughs> Be dumb dumb. But look how much, how much leaf litter I got. I have this entire box full and also this. What do you say? Despacito, they are sweet, right? <laughs> okay, Despacito on adventure is complete. Go inside and yeah, no, leave me alone. Goodbye. Go and do something else. Thank you. And please no noise on the, on the glass. No noise, recording in progress. Now I can concentrate. So as I was explaining, this individual and also this one to some extent, they are smaller than these three, you see? I think, which one is the biggest? Uh, maybe that one. Uh, yeah, I would say that that one is the biggest. But as you see, they are holding extremely good. I'm just dumping roaches inside every few days. I dump five roaches at a time and almost always I can see them all eating individual roach on their own. And actually, if you look closely, they're actually starting to develop a bit of blue color. So I'm pretty sure that on next mold, they will become blue and it will be an awesome sight. And speaking of blue, check who molted. This is a mold of Virupes Simoroxigorum. And I actually checked, sorry for the dark footage, but I checked, come on camera, can you focus? I verified that this is indeed a female. I think that you will be able to see it on this recording. And I will try to show you the actual tarantula because it seems like just like Metallica's, as they are growing, they are kind of losing their blue coloration. There is still blue tint on front legs, but back legs I'm mostly interested and currently I cannot, I cannot check them. We'll need to do that when I spot her outside. But I'm really curious what is the actual adult size of this species. Because it seems like they are kind of smaller species. And move this so we can actually move into a main theme of this video. And please ignore this huge enclosure that I'm, that I'm working on. It is definitely not a new project. Definitely not. But this is what we are all interested in. Now you see there is female with an exec and I don't have exact footage to compare it with but this exec was much more like like flattened you know when you pierce a ball and it, is, it becomes like bleh. that is how this exec looked like but now it seems like it is starting to be more and more round so let's see how we can snatch it from her there is a bit of problem because she's all the way in that corner she's usually chilling here and that would make this a lot more easier, a lot easier, but now she doesn't want to do that. You see, this is her usual spot, nice and open, but now she went all the way there. You can only see one. Uh, yeah, some legs and booty. And speaking of booties, good news everyone, the booty calendar is complete. And unlike the shirts, I actually checked if I can print the calendars in advance, so I know that I can do that. This is how the first page look, and I can actually show you January. Yeah, this is January and that is basically how the whole calendar will look like. And we can zoom in on that booty so we can see how the picture quality is really, really nice. So starting from now, you can order the calendar and the orders will close on Wednesday. So you have five days to make up your mind if you want 
a calendar or not. After that it takes a week or so to get it printed so that means that by the end of the year let me just check the timetable yeah I will most likely ship them before Christmas or maybe day or two after the Christmas. That means if you choose the priority bullet mail you will be able to receive it uh, first or second week of January but if you choose the snail mail you might miss the January and also if you're not familiar with the t-shirt situation unfortunately there is a, a huge delay in production and I will be able to get t-shirts most likely this time Felix is making noise. So I will most likely get shirts printed by the end of the January. And amazing thing, I sent email to everyone that ordered shirts asking if they want a refund because of delay or not. And everyone except one person uh, said that they are fine with waiting for the waiting longer for the shirt just one person canceled the order you guys are amazing and just so you know I will open the pre-orders for the shirt again most likely after New Year for a few days. So if you didn't manage to order the shirts, you will still get your chance. Uh, that's it, back to the video. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, I will try and poke like here and hopefully she will move outside. At least I hope so. The stick, and let's see how it will go. Yes, 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 she is reacting. Nice, nice, nice. Exactly what I want. She is walking straight into my trap. Now from above. Do, 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 do. Oh, defensive. Oh, oh, she is not pleased with this. This. Mm -hmm. And I will try to move her more. Sorry for doing this, but... It needs to be done. It needs to be done. Yeah, sorry. And you can actually hear how she is making noise when she slaps. Go, 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 go. A bit more. No, 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 no. Can I snatch it from this angle? I don't know. Let's try. Three, two. Oh, oh, she's holding on so well. Please, come on. Come on, come on, girl. Please, let it go. Oh, no. She's holding on so well, oh my god! Come on, who is stronger? Oh. Damn, let it go. Oh no! I just hope that we won't hurt anyone inside. Come on, let it go, girl. Oh, what should I do? I think that I need... Oh no. Oh, got it, got it, got it. I think that she is searching for her babies. I should give her something to eat. Here is a worm. Get it. Come on, you're, you must be hungry. You're. Yes, yes. Get the worm. That should distract. Oh no. She's not distracted by that. Or, she, or is she? Oh, this is so sad. Mm, I don't like this, but it had to be done. Oh, but look at this. This is the prize. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And this worm is on the loose. Come on, get the worm. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Okay, that will distract her now. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Maybe I should throw another one. Here's another one. Don't let it dig. Don't let it bury. Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. Or don't, whatever. I'll get it out. But now let's check on the prize. I'm going to close her and put her aside. And I noticed that I actually don't have a tripod. That is definitely something that I needed when I was fighting with her for the exec. And she definitely didn't make it easy. She made it really hard, but now it is moment of truth. I'm just gonna cut this top part. And let me peek inside. It is good, it is very... Ah, yes! Second successful exit! Woo! Let's go! Check it out and sorry for my, for my shaky hands, but my hands usually are in the calmest and now I have all the adrenaline and everything running through, so... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! You see eggs with legs, but I see that we have a couple of bad ones, so... I will definitely need to empty out this, this egg sac to make sure that bad ones don't start to mold or anything and contaminate the rest of the good eggs. I mean good eggs with legs. And I'm going to make um, 
like some sort of incubator. I have seen some doing it like this, so I want to try it out. It looks like a good method. I have two cups. One is deeper, one is shallower, but you see the shallow one goes into deep one. So you fill up this one with water, you make tiny holes on this one and put napkin inside and close it off. That way you have a lot of humidity inside of this cup, but there is no water or anything like that. That is touching the napkin and the actual eggs, which is really nice. There, you see a lot of holes. Now I just need to fill this up with water, put some napkin inside. Really, really simple setup. And in theory, it seems really, really good. But I'm going to dump eggs on the separate napkin. That way I will be able to separate the good ones from the bad ones. Eggs with legs, whoa. Whoa, there is a lot. Oh. Anyone still inside? Don't be late for the party. Another one still here. And that should be all, all nice and clean egg sec. <laughs> Sweet, I will keep that. Now it's separate time. Whew, it took me good 30 minutes to separate bad ones from the good ones. And not just bad ones from the good ones, I also separated all the old skins and everything like that. But I also noticed that some like these, these guys, they're actually munching on bad eggs, so I just left them to do that stuff. And there are also some eggs that are partially black, partially normal, so I also left those. Hopefully they will develop, but you see, there is a lot of slings here. If someone wants to count, be my guest. I don't intend to. And I also forgot to mention, since I know the exact day when she made an egg sec, I know that this is now exactly 35 days after she laid the egg sec. So in the future, if you will be breeding Historocrates Gigas, you know that after 35 days you can expect eggs with legs. Now let's move them all into this incubator and you see I also sprayed it up a bit. You want a lot of humidity inside. I will now just dump all of those inside. Hey, why do you stick? Oh, whoop, whoop. Almost. <laughs> and also, unfortunately, there was a couple of casualties. A couple of were squished inside, you know, because of the fight that I had with the female, but only like maybe three or four. So nothing terrible, I would say. Let me just spread them all, all nicely. Yeah, this will be it. As I said, second successful exec in the dark den. First one was any little Tocatel Alopilosum, ex Brahipelma Alopilosum, and now second one, Historocrates Gigas. So proud, yes, yes, yes. Uh, updates will follow, of course. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs it up and comment something. If you want to support this channel even more, there's a Patreon page. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. I'll already Monday and Friday, so see you again soon. Bye!